Merry Christmas, Upstreet Online. It is finally here, and we're celebrating in a big way today. Hey, I'm Jeff, and we're so excited that you're spending a little bit of your Christmas weekend with us. And we got a present for you. It's a new That Show with That Guy. Check it out. Welcome back to another episode of That Show with That Guy. We've got our good friend, Sabrina back with us. Sabrina, thanks for joining us again. Hey, Caleb. Another episode. And hey, Upstreet. Hey, Upstreet. And hey, Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas. So to get us ready for Christmas, we are going to do uh, something that we've never done before. But let's just let's just go for it. Let's do it. Let's, let's just go. let's just have fun and see what happens. Yes. Yeah. Fun. So in order to kick off this whole thing, we need to decorate this plate as if it were a cookie. I uh, think we need a good base. Yep, let's make it sour uh, cream. whipped cream. Sour cream? I'm sorry, whipped cream, yeah. Oh, a little gourmet. Okay, let's just, yeah, let's just, just fill it. Yeah, just send it. Fill it. Send it. I could listen to that noise forever. Yeah, <laughs> could listen to it forever. Get a little sprinkle of the candy cane. That's it's professional. That is charcuterie board worthy. It's a Christmas charcuterie. Is it time for the drizzle? It's time for the drizzle. All day, all day, ooh. Wow, the ooh. fact that you kept it on the plate the whole time. And then, of course, everybody's favorite food, chopped walnuts. <laughs> Is that your I hate, <laughs> I hate all forms of peanuts. They just, only it's like they salted cardboard. Cookies. Yep, salt bay that. All right. Salt bay oh. that. Aw. And we're done. That's now, what we are going to do is Sabrina is going to ask me some trivia questions. And every time I get it right, I nothing will happen. Every time I get it wrong, my face mm -hmm. will be smashed in the Christmas charcuterie board. Yeah, let's, I don't, I don't want to break your nose. I don't want to so, break my nose. Yeah. Oh, you're so kind. I know. Question yes. number one. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? Go. You know Donner and Dasher and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? <laughs> Rudolph, Rudolph, that nice. was so fun. But I got it right. I got it right and a little bit of punishment for going it. way too far. Okay, okay, next question. What color is Santa's belt? Uh, Brown. One. No, no, it's black. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. What is the Grinch's dog's name? You got an answer? No. That's not fast enough. It's Matt. Yes, All right. I knew that. I was thinking Rufus. Do Christmas trees have skirts or dresses? Skirts. Okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> There's a wild card. Are you ready? Yeah, no. If you combine all the gifts from the 12 days of Christmas, how many gifts would you have total? Uh, 36. Final answer. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. 45. On. 45. Uh, 55. Uh, 66. And 78. You got it right. Yes. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> it's 364. Okay, that's all the time we have for this episode of that show. I am tasting so many things right uh -huh. now. Thanks for joining us on this episode. We hope, oh, what is happening? We hope you have a Merry Christmas. Stay saucy, love on somebody, and we'll see you next episode next year. Peace. <laughs>guys been there what's up friends and Merry Christmas like literally Merry Christmas if we haven't met yet I'm Raj and I love Christmas so much I declare myself I am the president of the Christmas fan club yes thank you thank you being the president of the Christmas fan club has been the greatest thing ever and I have come across so many different ways that people celebrate Christmas like in Australia, it's summertime at Christmas, so they go surfing and they picnic at the beach. Totally rad, man. And in the Netherlands, they leave hay and carrots in their shoes for a horse instead of reindeer. Whoa, I don't think a horse is gonna eat anything out of that. In El Salvador, they celebrate with fireworks. Now that's my kind of party. In Mexico, they celebrate by carving Christmas scenes into radishes. I've never done it, so maybe they know something about radishes that I don't. 
And there are so many versions of Jingle Bells out there. Like, you name it, it's out there. Cat's yodeling, you got it. Jingling a bells, jingling a bells, jingle all the way to Little Lake. Or Woody from Toy Story in this really unique take on the Christmas classic. <laughs> The point is, is there are so many ways to celebrate Christmas. So do whatever makes you merry. And speaking of merry, as I was collecting all of my knowledge to become the president of the Christmas fan club, I learned a ton about the very first Christmas. And when you know what I know, you're gonna be blown away! <laughs> But I don't want to be the only one celebrating here, so I'm going to need your help. When you see me do this, I want you to rock out with me. Give me your best air guitar like you're doing a guitar solo with your favorite band. Or when you see me do this, do that bass with me. Because some of the things I'm going to tell you are seriously like... Now the last thing you're gonna need is a light. So go ask a grown up for their phone or a flashlight and bring it back here. Pause the video if you need a couple minutes to find one. Now I know none of this makes sense now, but trust me, it will soon. All right, so let's go back to the beginning to the very first Christmas. You know what that means, to the Christmas chair. <sighs> here we go, to the very first Christmas. <laughs> The first Christmas started with two people. Well, really three. You've got a girl named Mary and a guy named Joseph. And these guys were going to get married. But little did they know, they were about to get a huge surprise. God had a special announcement for Mary and Joseph. And everything God does is awesome, so he sent an angel to deliver his message. <laughs> this angel didn't play the guitar to Mary, but he definitely was sending some rockin' vibes because his message was straight from G-O-D. I've never seen an angel, you've never seen an angel, and Mary had definitely never seen an angel. So she was kinda like, yeah, exactly, we would be too. This angel told Mary that she was going to have a baby and that the baby would be God's son. Now, when Mary told Joseph about this angel and what he said, my man Joe was a little like... So Joseph needed some convincing. So he also got a visit from the angel announcer. And after the angel got done talking, Joe was totally on board because of what the angel had said. He said that this baby that Mary was going to have would be God's son, savior of the world, and named Jesus. So Mary and Joseph had to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Then they got there and it's time for the baby to be born, but there's nowhere for them to stay. They ask, excuse me, sir, is there any room? But it's just like... <laughs> So they finally get a room, but it's nothing like you'd expect. It's for animals. Like legit, Mary is having a baby next to old McDonald's farm, you know? But then it happens. God's son Jesus is born. Just when you think that Jesus being born is going to be this quiet event that only Mary and Joseph know about, our angel comes back. But this time the angel appears to a bunch of shepherds in a field. And of course, they're afraid. But after they freaked out, the angel told them the best news of all time. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. After this announcement, the whole sky filled with angels. Put up your light. Shine it around. These angels were so bright and they sang about how awesome God is and how good he is to send us Jesus. And the angel was right. This was good news of great joy. So the shepherds ran to see the baby. And after that, they ran to tell everyone else the good news because they knew this was good news of great joy for all people. The savior of the world had been born, not just for them, 
But the angel said, he has been born to you. Jesus came for you and me too. Now get this, get your lights up in the air again, because the moment Jesus is born, God puts a brand new star in the sky. There are a million billion stars, but this one was special. God put the star in the sky right over Jesus' house. It was the light in the darkness you could see for miles and miles and miles because God didn't send Jesus just for those around him. Remember, the angel said that Jesus was for all people. So some wise men that lived far away from where Jesus was born looked up in the sky and saw the star. And they just knew by looking at the sky and seeing that specific star that the savior of the world, Jesus, had been born and they had to find him. So they followed the star and traveled two years to come and find Jesus and bring him gifts and worship him because they knew, they knew that Jesus had come for them. I mean, just like, I was blown away. I have loved learning all these cool things about Christmas and Jesus. Christmas is worth celebrating and feels special because I realized that Jesus is special, not just for Mary and Joseph and shepherds and wise men and people long ago, but for us now, today, you and me. Remember what the angel said. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. A savior has been born to you. We are part of all the people. God sent Jesus for me too. Jesus came to be my savior. And if he came to be my savior, then he came to be your savior too. Isn't that awesome? God sent Jesus for all of us. Jesus came for you. I hope this year you celebrate Christmas a little bigger, knowing that Jesus is good news of great joy for you too. Merry Christmas, friends. We're gonna dance, lift our hands, celebrate it's Christmas. Light up the world, Jesus is born. Whoa. Raise your voice, make some noise, it's Christmas. Let's celebrate and shout for joy. There's a reason why we sing and why we celebrate. It's Christmas time, yeah it's Christmas time It's the season that he's given us a gift so great It's Christmas time, yeah it's Christmas time He's the light of the world, come down to us From heaven now everyone sing A gift so great It's Christmas time Yeah, it's Christmas time He's the light of the world Come down to us From heaven now everyone sing Yeah.